Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to change your locale settings in Magento 2. And what that means in plain English is that if you're based in the United Kingdom like ourselves, or maybe Australia or another country other than the United States, that you'll be able to change your Magento 2 store to your desired country rather than be in the United States. Or actually, maybe it's been set up as Australia and you need to change all the settings back so that you can change it to the United States. Now, Dave, this is really easy to do. We just need to go in a couple of different sections within our Magento configuration area. And if you can type on your keyboard and select a few drop down boxes and remember to press save, it's that easy. So with that said, let's jump across to our desktop and do follow us along in your Magento system. So Dave, there are four sections which we need to go into. Now, the reason why there's four, not just two, which you might be thinking of if you've set these settings before, is because we'd like to do this thoroughly. And there's two other settings which are not so obvious until we go and show them to you. So with that said, we need to get into the configuration section. And we can do that underneath stores from the left hand menu and then click on configuration. Now, by the way, we won't be covering the topic of setting this up for multiple stores, but you can, of course, apply this to multiple different sites if you've been to set those up within your Magento system. And of course, you would just use the drop down box where it says default config to change the settings on a per store view basis or per website view basis if you desired. But we're just going to assume that you've got one Magento site and you want to change those options. Now, Dave, we are in the general, general section. OK, so just click on general to make sure you're there so that you can see store information, locale options, state options and country options. So we're going to start at the top, which is the country options. Let's drop this down. Now, like I said, we are going to change our Magento install from the United States to the United Kingdom. But of course, if you're based in Australia, United States or Germany or somewhere else in the world, just change the settings as you see fit. So we're going to change the country from the United States to United Kingdom. We are also going to leave the rest of those settings alone in that section. The next section which we're after is locale options. So let's expand that out. So the first thing which we need to do is change the locale from English to United Kingdom. We also need to change our time zone as well. So we're after Europe or Greenwich Mean Time. Scroll this down. There we go. So GMT Europe forward slash London. Also in the UK, we are metric. So we're changing our weight from pounds to kilograms. The first day of the week is Sunday and those values are fine there. Scroll down, we're now after the store information section. And by the way, it's really important that you fill this store information out. And the reason why it's important that you fill it out is because this is the information which comes out on your contact us page, for example, and several other sections around your Magento site. So we're just going to scroll down, choose the United Kingdom. Obviously, you would go on and put your store name, your phone number, your hours of operation and the other details as appropriate. Now, Dave, the one mistake which we can make is very, very simple. If you don't press save config in the top right hand corner, those settings won't be changed. We are also going to ignore the page cache message because we've got three other sections to go and change and we'll update those in a moment. Now, the next section which we need to go into is the currency section. And where it says currency options, we're going to expand that option down. Base currency. Now, Dave, how many times has this caught us out trying to find pound sterling? Oh, yeah, loads of times. Magento calls it British pound sterling, I think. British pound sterling, yeah. So in our case, we need to scroll up. I am just going to click B on my keyboard to get in the right section. So British pound, default currency. I'm going to press B again to jump up there, British pound. We're not going to go into multiple currencies, but what we are going to point out, because we've chosen different currency, you do need to select that in the allowed currencies. And if you did want to allow multiple currencies, you hold down the control key and you can select or deselect multiple currencies at the same time. But we are just going to show you how to set up a single currency in this video tutorial. So make sure you choose your allowed currencies as the currency which you've been set above because like ours that was set is the US dollars. We want those as British pounds. Of course, 
we've made some changes. We need to press save config. Now, Dave, those are the two obvious sections. There's two unobvious sections and they're both down in cells. So we need to scroll down and expand out our cells menu. And the first one is shipping settings. And this one's actually really important, not necessarily for you and your business, but for your customers. So when your customers go to the checkout, the default country or the origin country is currently set to the United States. We need to change that. And we're gonna change that to the United Kingdom. And of course, you may want to remove the postcode or the region state. And then once you've been and made those changes, press save config. Nice and easy so far, Dave? Yep, I'm with you. All nice and easy. And the other one is a not so obvious one, but it's actually important to do with the way the different payment methods are set up, Dave, is down in payment methods. So go down into payment methods. Now, a little word of caution, if you've already got PayPal or another payment provider already set up and working and you're super happy with it, well, in other words, it works, don't change the setting because if it's not broke, don't fix it. But we're assuming that you haven't been set up your payment options just yet where it says merchant country drop that down choose your country and then press save config and the reason why that's important is because your paypal options do differ between the different countries so you'll see that we've already been to set ours as the united kingdom we're going to press save config anyway now dave the last step of this process is to go and clear out our cash so all the changes which we've been and made can then appear on the front end of our magento website so to clear our caches out, just click on cache management at the top. And then on the left hand side, click the little drop down box, choose select all. And by the way, Dave, this is much easier than going in here and then just ticking the right ones. Just choose select all. Click on submit, give it a few seconds. And those changes which you made a few moments ago, they are now applied to your Magento website. Nice and straightforward, Dave. Couple of drop down boxes, few text boxes. Yeah, nice and straightforward, mate. Excellent. So both myself, Matt, and of course, Dave, we both hope that you found this video tutorial helpful for you and your business. And on that note, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.